Hello and welcome to the Cisco SecureX and Splunk integration demo. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure Splunk Relay module within Cisco SecureX. SecureX threat response is an integration and aggregation platform for multiple security products that ties together vast security technologies into one console. Splunk Relay module is built into Splunk technical add-on which queries data sources logs within Splunk. The module makes request to the Splunk instance to run searches for cyber threat intelligence, maps the fetched data in compliance with Splunk CIM data model into the appropriate CTIM entities, and returns a list per each entity. Before setting up the integration, you should have an account in Splunk and Splunk Enterprise. On the Splunk base page, search for the Cisco SecureX Threat Response Relay module app. Download the installation file and follow the installation guide to complete the installation. Now let's move to Splunk Enterprise and make sure Splunk CISA and Cisco Secure Extract Response Relay module are not installed on the same search head as there is an incompatibility between them. And now open the Cisco SecureX and Splunk Enterprise pages. When configuring integration of Splunk Relay module version 1.0.0, you need to register the device via SSE connector, get the some information from your Splunk Enterprise account, and then add SecureX Splunk Relay module. Now let's configure the integration. To start using Splunk, you need to create a new device. On the SecureX page, go to Administration tab. Devices and click Manage Devices button. To add devices, click the Add Devices and Generate Token Plus button. Set the number of the devices and the token expiration time. Click Continue. Copy the token to the clipboard. The status of the added device is changed to Create It. Now go to Splunk Enterprise. Find and run your Splunk Relay module. You are redirected to the SSC Connecting Configuration page. If needed, update the port number and paste the activation token you copied earlier. Select your region. Select the Start action in the list. And click Run. If you don't have a generated JWT token for authorization in your Splunk, go to Settings, Tokens and create a new token. Fill the user and audience fields. Click Create. Copy the generated token. On the Devices page, check the device's status. Just refresh it. It should change to Registered. Go to the Cloud Services tab and ensure that the Cisco SecureX Threat Response Cloud is turned on. Now go back to the Cisco SecureX tab. Integration Modules available integration modules and find a newly created Splunk Relay module. Click New Module. Select the registered device from the drop-down list. Paste the authorization token that you've copied on your Splunk. Click Save. HealthSec message says that the module is successfully created. Now let's go to Threat Response app Provide the observable and run the investigation. The relay module supports IP addresses, domains, file path and file names. The investigation may take some time. Now the investigation is completed. On the Modules tab, you can see results of the Splunk Relay module as well as other modules. The Splunk Relay module returns only sightings as Splunk is not a threat intelligence platform. In this investigation, the module returned a hundred sightings for the investigated IP. Target tab represents endpoint that a threat has targeted. The related tab shows the number of related observables. They appear in the UI because they share a relationship with the investigated observable and may be added to the investigation at any time. Let's look at the observable closer and see more details about the sighting. If you click on the chevron of the site and you see the details of the record when the indicator has been seen. There is a record in Splunk for this observable. Also see the targets and related observables. Here you can open the chevron for more options, which you can apply for this suspicious IP address. You can add the observable to the current investigation 
or investigate it in threat response further, create a judgment for this IP, or make searches for this IP in other available modules. That is all for this demo. Thank you for your attention.